everybody, it's Randy and I am and we're here at Stephen Foster Folk Cultural State Park and we you should tell where it is. Where is it? It's in White Springs. White Springs, White Florida. Springs, Florida. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> In this video, we're coming to you from Stephen Foster Folk Cultural State Park in White Springs, Florida. This is in the northern section of Florida, um, near the interchange of I-75 and I-10. We're right on the Suwannee River, hence the Stephen Foster part of this. And so, Diane, what do you think of this park? I thought it was nice. The um, sites are really big, so you don't have any trouble if you have multiple cars or it's you know you can spread out and just have a, a nice campground a nice campground a nice campsite <laughs> nice campsite yeah and and they're they're very private there's a lot of um growth a lot of palm trees or low palm um, bushes or whatever you call these um between the campsites which gives you a fair amount of privacy um and i was really impressed when we pulled in the, the campsite was spotless i mean they they come through and they rake they blow off all the leaves and they rake the site between every visit. So I, I don't see too many campgrounds that do that, except the you know, only one I can think of is Disney does that, you know. And so this is really up there, in my opinion, close to, you know, Fort Wilderness. Yeah, I would say it's, it's very clean and well kept up campsites. Yeah. And the, and the bathrooms here are nice. Yeah, they're nice and clean. They do uh, maintain them very well. They're a little cold, but. It yeah. could be just the time of year too. We're here in February, so the nights are cool, and the bathrooms aren't really heated, you know, overnight. I could imagine, and they're probably not air conditioned in the summer. There's a couple things to keep in mind, but they keep them clean. They're basic bathrooms or you know restrooms. Um, they're you know for, for for like a state park. They're really nothing fancy, but they they do keep them clean. Oh, okay. And uh, just to let you know, the hook, you don't have full hookups, just water and electric. Right. No sewer. Right. So. Um, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. You do have a dump station here. Yes. Yep. But they have a lot of other things here too, which is nice. I mean, you know, one of the things that we like about state parks is when you're here, you know, there's more room, there's more to see than a private campground. And, and this is no exception to that. There's uh, um, a Stephen Foster Museum and there's the, the Clarion Right, pronounce it, Carolyn. The Claire, Car the, the Carolyn Tower. Right. And and it plays Stephen Foster um, music every hour um, on bells. I think there's like 96 bells in it that it plays again. So that's kind of neat.
They also have a gift and craft shop. Yep. So and that was interesting. Yep. And it's kind of a folk uh, type of craft sh shop or crafts and such, you know. Yes. On the Swanee River, so they do have a kayak and canoe launch here that you can launch your um, boat. And what else? There's a sign that they do have alligators in the water. So yeah, this is Florida, so every place there's water, you, you're going to see an alligator sign. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, but yes. it, go ahead. It's kind of a you know kind of a little bit of a history rich place. Um, the the town of White Springs. You know, the Springs part was originally Sulphur Springs that um, people would come to this part of the country to partake in the Sulphur Springs for health reasons and such. So there's a little bit of history for that around this area too. White Sulphur Springs Fountain of Health. White Sulphur Springs was once a popular health resort attracting a large number of people to drink the water and bathe in the spring. The structure encircles a natural spring that was once thought to possess great healing qualities. An early advertisement claimed the water cured everything from rheumatism to indigestion, dandruff, and insomnia. But all in all, it's a great, it's a great park, and we would highly recommend if you're in this area to give it a try. Yep, definitely would. Um, it's worth this, worth a stay. We have enjoyed our time here immensely. We are here for another day or so, and then we head on uh, on our way to another part of Florida. But. If you like this video, um, please subscribe and ring the little bell for notifications for when we post new videos, you can get notified. And if give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. So for right now, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye.